Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Uncut Honest review. Here to review a game that I finished quite a while ago that um, was one of the more interesting games that I've played in uh, over the years. This is Scorn, a video game that was in development since 2014, I believe, and it finally got released in October of 2022. So the game follows this this creature who seems to be trying to escape this odd world of biomechanical ingenuity <laughs> and there's a lot of organic material that makes up the buildings the environments um it lends itself to a labyrinth style puzzle game and uh it's quite interesting so the game again takes place in this odd world which you can only think would maybe be hell or something like that and you have to basically work to find your way out of it um the game has five acts in it which you can i guess you can say is like chapters or whatever and a few of them are kind of broken down into like sub chapters such as act three um which kind of act three and act two i believe is broken down into like sub chapters so overall there's like several different seven parts of the game as a whole uh there's weapons in the game you get a piston style of, it's almost like a piston gun which basically is just like a punch type of weapon uh you get a pistol you get a rocket launcher and you also get a not a rocket launcher excuse me you get a shotgun as well as a grenade launcher let me correct that um the monsters in the game kind of lend themselves towards looking like objects i'm gonna just say objects and uh, organic objects and you see them walking around throughout the map and uh, whenever they see you, they try to attack you. And you don't really have to worry with this game because the first two acts are basically you walking around uh, solving puzzles. The monsters don't really, the monsters that attack you, they don't really pop up until like act three when you get your hand on a weapon. Uh, outside of that, the game does seem to be a bit confusing as to as to what it wants to be at times it feels like it just wants to be a puzzle game at times it seems like it wants you to be it wants to be a first person shooter at times it feels like it wants to be something else and it just doesn't lend itself to anything worth like not anything that you can really pinpoint you know, so if you go back and you look at like the uh, the artwork from like going all the way back to 2014 when the game originally was uh, when the game was originally getting crowdfunded, I believe it got crowdfunded on like Kickstarter or something like that. Um, that the art books was released for the game, and one of the things that kind of bothers me if outside of it not feeling like it knows what it wants to be it kind of lends itself not even lends itself i'm getting lost in thought but there were concepts in the in the in the art book that it looked like they planned on using but they didn't use um again going back to it not feeling like what it wants to be it seems like at first they were developing like a first person shooter that they then later on just let it be like a for, for the most part like a puzzle game and it there are things in it that just don't make sense at times like for example the weapons for example the developer for this game now forgive me if i don't i don't remember his name because i didn't look it up prior to this prior to this but i believe he had like a video um where he stated that 
the monsters in the game only want to be left alone. And as you play through the game, you notice that if you encounter one of the monsters and they see you, or if you, you don't get close enough to where they see you, then they'll crawl into like a space and like a wall. Because the whole game, especially like the buildings, it's kind of like this bio mechanical operation they got going on and everything kind of lends itself to like whatever it's trying to do so you'll have like these baby i call them little turkey chickens that, that's what i call them they look like little chickens if if they're crawling out of one space on one side of the wall they're trying to get into the other space on the other side of the wall um and there's also these little i don't even know what to call them they're like little like little headless slugs almost that got two arms and two legs and they're crawling around same thing with them if you see them crawling out of the wall or they're dropping down from off the wall they're trying to crawl into another space and if you back up and go into like another area then they'll just go about their business and not even pay you any attention so when you think about that the game itself is like you have to treat the monsters like a puzzle as well to where because you don't get that much ammo there's enough for what you need to do because the game the way it's designed it's almost as if they don't want you to even encounter any monsters uh in the game which sometimes is difficult to do because they they have like these big horse looking monsters or whatever that are in hallways that oftentimes you can't just avoid so you have to use weapons in that, but even then, if you back up, they'll go on, on about their their business, um, and they won't pay you any mind. But to that effect, when you think about it like that, the game doesn't really want you to use your weapons at all. Um, there's only really one boss fight in the game, <laughs> to be honest with you, and uh, it doesn't... Uh, that's the only real time you really have to use your weapons during that one boss fight you have to fight the same dude like twice kind of and you get a weapon for him from him that really you don't honestly get a chance to use it's like you get a weapon and you don't even get a chance to use the weapon that they give you because there's nothing else after that boss fight um now again throughout the game there's this parasite that tries to leech itself to you and this parasite obviously is where most of your weapons <laughs> and um uh are gonna <laughs> come from excuse me mm, got the hiccups so when it attaches itself to you you notice that as the game progresses it's bore it's it, it's it's kind of burrowing itself deeper into your body and you have to find a way to get it off of you now, i don't want to spoil well, I don't really give a damn about spoiling, but ultimately, you do find a way to get it off of you. But then when it comes toward the end of the game, there's an ending that just leaves you scratching your head like that's it. So between the game not feeling like it wants to be, the game feeling like it wants to be a first person shooter, but not really because you're not supposed to interact with the monsters. If you play the game the way it's supposed to be played, you're not supposed to interact with the monsters at all outside of the one boss fight that you do have, or rather the two boss fights that you have. Um, there's health refilling stations and weapon uh, ammo refilling stations that if you play the game the way, again, the way they intend for you to play it, you don't really need to use them at all. But again if you, if that's the intention then why even have weapons in the game in the f weapons in the game in the first place so that's just that's just my opinion i don't i don't know the game is confusing it seems like again they wanted to go for for it to be like a labyrinth puzzle style game then they wanted it to be a first person shooter then they kind of wanted it to be like a scary environment but here's the crazy thing the environment that they have the game set in lends itself to wanting to be something scary but you be so pissed off as you playing the game you don't even have you don't even care to be scared no more <laughs> i don't know if that happened for anybody else playing this but i was so mad at this game and i wanted to be wanted it to be over so damn bad that i just didn't even 
like the little jump scares, which is only like a couple of them, didn't even scare me. It was just like, oh, that happened, you know. And if I didn't mention it before, the ending made no sense whatsoever. I mean, it kind of did, but then it's like all that for that. You know what I mean? It's just, and the game doesn't have multiple endings. That's another thing that I almost forgot. So in this game, again, there's puzzles. Now there's different ways that you can go about solving the puzzles. You know, there's different ways you can solve the puzzles. However, it doesn't change anything about the game whatsoever. So that's another stupid thing. Like if you're going to have the game linear like that, what's the point of even having, you know, optional ways to solve the puzzles, especially if there's no alternate ending. They, there's there's not multiple endings only one ending in the game so that made no sense so the game in my opinion is pretty bad i mean i'm one of those people that i didn't even finish the game once i got to like act four i was so frustrated with the game i watched somebody else beat the game on my stream because i just didn't have time to like it's, it's like you feel like you're wasting your time you know what i mean and i'm glad i did seeing the ending and knowing there's no alternate ending, um, it's like you're glad you didn't finish this game because it's just a big ball of what the fuck. That's the only thing I can really say. It's confusing, it's frustrating, and it's unfulfilling. It's not a game that puts a smile on your face, that's for damn sure. And considering that they had people waiting for this since like 2014 and that's what they got, man the one saving grace that this game has is that's on the, that is that it's on the xbox game pass for however long left it's going to be on there i'm pretty sure it's going to be on there for a few more months but that's the only saving grace if you paid money for this game and i looked on steam the game is like 40 dollars. the game is 40 dollars. i think at the time i looked which was like last month it was like $35. I think they gave it like a $5 discount. But the game was $40. And if you paid $40 for this game, you have every reason to be pissed off. If you played it like me on the Xbox Game Pass and I didn't even want to finish it then, you kind of can't be too mad because you basically got it for, for, for free. So I will say this game... It was a letdown. It's like it wanted to be something. It felt like something else. And it just didn't capitalize on any of it. Outside of maybe the puzzles. You know what I mean? Um, I think the game looked good. I think the graphics for the game were great. I think the design for the game was great. But it just failed to deliver on what it felt like it was trying to do. It felt like it was trying to do multiple things. And it didn't exceed at doing any of them. Um... outside of the puzzles but that's the only thing i can really give it because there's no narration in the game so you have to kind of just feel for what's going on and it's just again that ending was asinine where it's just like okay that's all we get you put multiple ways to to solve the puzzles there's multiple ways to solve the puzzles well some of them but you only give us one ending. So it makes solving the puzzles multiple ways pretty much pointless. If it's not lend lending itself to anything else. So I was disappointed with the game. I don't encourage anybody to play this. Unless you download it on the Xbox Game Pass. Don't pay money for this game. I hate to say that because I know people probably worked hard on it. And what have you. But the game is not worth playing. I'm sorry. It's not. It's confusing. It seems like it wants to be something scary, but you're too mad as you're playing the game to even give a damn. And then another thing that I almost forgot is that, there, again, there's different acts in the game, but there's no indicator that lets you know at the time that you're going into a different act. You know what I mean? It doesn't have anything to let you know you're in act two. You, you have to reload the game or reload on that act to know what act you're in. So that's just another little thing but outside of that i mean again i wouldn't play this game again i wouldn't if you didn't play the game unfortunately you didn't miss anything you didn't miss anything you know there's no real challenge outside of being frustrated 
um, just save yourself the headache. Don't bother with it. And I hate to say that because, like I said, the design of, game, of the game is good, but it's just, it failed. <laughs> so, yeah, don't pay money for this. If you're going to play it, download it on the Xbox Game Pass and, you know what I'm saying, play it for no additional price. Pay a little $10 for the Xbox Game Pass, download this for free, and just play it. You know what I'm saying? And you'll see for yourself just how much this game is worth playing. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace. I'll see you guys for another Uncut Honest Review.